Frosty, Heidi, and Frank show on Southern California's rock station, 95.5. Wednesday, April 29th. Some states, they're relaxing their uh, stay-at-home orders, and some people still have ways to go. So how much longer could you last without sacrificing your last bit of sanity? Well, because the average could go a maximum of, of one more month before hitting the breaking point. Just another month. So when Gavin Newsom says it's going to be weeks, people, not months, understand that, that the average says I could go, you know, where I'm at right now, I can go one more month, and then I'm going to lose my last bit of sanity. Do we want that to happen? Mm-mm. 72% said they would uh, completely lose their mind sometime between now and early June. And pretty much everyone agrees six months would be more than they could handle. So at that point, it's mayhem. Or is at that point, would people just start relaxing their own? Like, I'm, I'm going out. I'm going to my friend's house. I'm going to go hiking. I said, that's already happening. That's absolutely already happening. You don't know because you, like I said, you are a hermit lady already. So well, no, but I'd like to have my friends. Inside, I'd you like close to see your, your blinds. But you're only Zooming with your friends. You only see your friends. I know I would like to. I would like to have them over in the yard, but I'm still like, oh. But you're I'm... still in your yard and you're hermiting. You can do it. I if don't... your friends are the same like you and they don't go anyplace else. Yeah, we've all been following the rules. Why not? Because people have not been. And seems mm. like everything's uh, all right, right? I mean. I mean, as far as numbers go, I just, I'm, I'm done watching the numbers. Yeah, I don't, I don't, we don't even have the TV on anymore. And we're like, Ugh. This is because I somewhere forgot to turn it on, but. Oh. I'm kind of um, I'm sick of it too. I'm sick of talking about it. I'm sick of it being a thing. It's like I'd rather just go on and just back to normal life. I would like that, but it's not. But it's I, not st- I be... still don't get how your life has changed. Just going, going shopping, going to see my friends, going out to a, a a wine bar, going to get a massage, going to get my hair done, going to get my nails paint. You know that kind of stuff. Just all that like. So it's re- all stuff you want to try. That you've, you've, yeah, that I haven't re- done before. And now in, the past? in quarantine, I'm like, I kind of want to go get my hair okay. done like a real girl. And get your nails did too. Yeah, get my nails did. But yeah, just stuff like that. Just the mundane. It might be mundane to most people and that's fine. But I think now we're just like, let's get back to mundane. Let's get back to just a trip to Target without having to be like, okay, we sanitize the cart. We've got the thing. We got the mask. We got, we got to spray everything off. We get it on. Like, ugh. I don't even do that. You see people sanitizing carts? Well, yeah, there's a the person that works there. It's like, these are well, all sanitized. They, you can take that. That's because they work and they do that. I'm not doing that. I'm not sanitizing a cart. Yeah, because they're done for you. It's done for you already. They're giving you... So that. I'm not worried about that. My life's normal when it comes to that. I grab a cart and I go. The only thing different about what I'm... I got a mask on just so I can get in the place. It's almost mm-hmm. like, yeah, you have to be... You have to have a certain ID. All right, the mask is everyone's ID that they can get in. Mm-hmm. And so I have that on, but as far as going in, wearing gloves, nothing like that, worrying about touching stuff, nope. I, I hand sanitize once I get back to the car. You don't do that little dance when you see somebody who's in the aisle that you need to go in? Where you're like, oh, I, oh, oh, oh. Uh. I'll turn around, go the long way, and come yeah. back this way, and maybe they'll already be gone. No. <laughs> you don't do that? Nope. Because if you they have a, do that. Because you, <laughs> well, yeah, look at him. They yeah. turn around. <laughs> they do, like, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. If you're going to be that kind of person, move aside. I feel like if we all have masks on, it's fine. I feel like Moses. <laughs> yeah. <There was> a- <laughs> He's part in that cereal aisle. <laughs> I mean, there was always those, those guys that would just, when you're walking down a sidewalk before this all happened, they wouldn't move and somebody had to move out of the way. Now, everybody moves out of the way because they're freaked out. <laughs> I'm not moving. If you're moving, why am I moving? <laughs> <laughs> You're just alpha dogging everybody. In the, in uh, well, the that's gr- what it is. Yeah. Alpha dogs keep walking. Everybody else is like, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, if you're that worried about going, get in the back of the line then. <sighs> like I said, you only need, you only need, your, you carry around your hand sanitizer with you. You sanitize, you know, the stuff, like your stuff you got to touch after you touch the dirty stuff. Like you got to get your keys out to unlock your car. All right, then sanitize your hands and your keys and the handle and then get in your car. Your car's fine. That's, that's your sterile bubble. Mm. But I'm not out there wiping <laughs> everything down and knocking stuff into my cart with my elbow. Shut up. You people are morons. <laughs> I use paper towels when I grab a cart. Like, I'll take paper towels and I'll wrap them around the handle okay. to push it. Do what you got to do to make yourself feel better. Right. I ain't doing it. Where's like I said, I'll wear a mask. That's all I can get in. 
I ain't doing it. But if you weren't required to wear a mask, would you wear a mask? Nope. You wouldn't. Mm-mm. Wow. Hmm. If I wasn't required to, why not? I wear one. Well, because say that you don't. So you're afraid of getting COVID. You don't. But if I'm not get... required to wear one, why the hell would I? If no one's required to wear one, why would you? To not spread COVID nineteen. The word is required. No, but if I'm not required, then. If I was not required to show my ID, I'm not walking into a place going, look at me. I'm 50. I'm 50 years old. Look at me. Why the hell? I'm not required to show my ID. What am I doing? I'm all right. We're wearing masks to keep ourselves from spreading it. Yes, I understand why we have it. That's why we are required to do it. <laughs> but I'm saying, if we're not required, no, it's been lifted. No, hang on a second. No, I'm not going to wear a mask for the next three years. Maybe not three years, but I'm saying they don't know. They're, Once they're, it's lifted, I'm, this thing's gone. It's trash. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying if they if it ease like we're gonna ease back in, it's like we're gonna we're not making the mask required, but we're easing back into going out. I, it's I, not required, I feel like I still would in, wear one. It. Would you guys wear one? I feel like for a while I'm still gonna wear yeah, one. Yeah, I will. For a while. For a good while. Yeah. I'll never travel again without a mask. I'll be one of those people in the airport that has a mask. He'll on. wear a mask till his mustache grows back. <laughs> He's only <laughs> trying to hide his hair. He'll lip. get a mask with a mustache. <laughs> I'm all for you wearing a mask the rest of your life. Yeah. Full face. Full face. Anybody yeah. else be wearing a mask when it's not required anymore, Sammy? Mm-hmm. When it's not required to wear a mask, you're going to wear one? No. That's what I'm saying. I'm with Sammy on that one. She's convinced me. If it's not required, then why do it? Right. That, and we're following the guidelines of the CDC. If the CDC says not required to wear okay, a mask, so then why like would you? Says, Newport Beach says, hey, we're going to have the beaches open this weekend. We voted five to two, city council. Yeah, it's not required that you stay away from the beach in Newport. So mm-hmm. you're going to go to the beach? Certain people yeah, go to the beach. Mm-hmm. Now, it's still required to do social distancing, so you can't put your towel on somebody else, but you probably shouldn't anyway. It's beach. If, if it Governor out. Gavin Newsom today held a press conference and said, um, you know what, we're looking at some things, and we're going to go ahead and ease the face mask restrictions um, when you're out in public. Not wearing it. You're done with it. Mm-hmm. I would like to get tested first to find out if I am COVID-free, and if I am, then I wouldn't wear a mask because that's why we are wearing the masks is because the asymptomatic people. But are don't we also wearing it? it also, aren't we also wearing it to not get it? No, no, it won't no. filter. That's where you're confused. Yeah. I just thought it was. We're, I'm protecting you. You're protecting me. We're protecting each other. From you. If you wear a mask, you're protecting us all from you in mm-hmm. more ways than one. Right. Mm-hmm. But no, if you wear a mask, that's, you're only protecting us from you. You're not protecting yourself from anything else. So if I have a mask on, I'm protecting you from me. Now, if I don't have a mask on and I walk by you and you have one on, you're not protected from me. If you have COVID-19 and don't have a mask on and a chew into my face when I have a mask on, I'm not protected. Possibly not, depending on the mask you have on. Wow. Hmm. That's where those grades of masks come in. That's why. The That's what you learn when you get out more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't, I just don't live in a bubble. I just feel like... You know, like when I would go see my my cousin who had cancer, when we went to go see her, she had a mask on. That was to protect her from us. No, it's because her breath reeks. Chemo does horrible things. To oh, the I breath. didn't know that. I and thought. she probably had an N95, Heidi. It, pro- it was well, probably hospital that, really, issued. Yeah, it was a. It but was she a wore mask. that, and I was like, uh oh. Yes, like, it was to protect her from getting anything we may have. He's right. It's it's. A mask that protects her from you. The mask people are wearing around to get into Target or Walmart or whatever, they're not masks to protect you from that. You got N95, give it to the the healthcare workers because they're around people who actually have it and they need to be protected from it. Mm. But you, these little little masks going in, they're not sealed. There's gaps on the sides. They, They fit poorly. I mean, you could, that looks and, like a pair of panties. And he says, make, make them out of anything you have. A bandana. So he said, okay, a bandana's covering my nose. It's not, it's not cinched on my neck. Right, right. People are just wearing scarves around their face like it's winter. That's not protecting you from anything. It's because if you sneeze into it, it limits your sneezy space. You see, a sneeze can go 15 feet, mm. probably further. But if you sneeze with a, with a scarf on, it's only going to go. Ew. Right, right. You're going to see the sneeze on your scarf. Now, maybe some will get out, but not mega amounts okay. that, that 70 people can walk through. Like you said you saw a graphic of a sneeze taking over a store, Eric. 
It was a cough, just a cough, not even a sneeze. Because you expect sneeze particles because you can see those. But you can't really see somebody cough. So they did the 3D model of what it looks like when a person, a normal person, just coughs in a uh, grocery store aisle. And it starts to float around them, creates a larger and larger uh, bubble. And then that floats over the aisle, lands on somebody who then, just by breathing, spreads it to another aisle. I mean, it ends up, the one cough ends up about five aisles away from where it started. It's terrifying. And it never dissipates. It does, yes. They show it over time, okay. eventually. There's still a couple of particles after six minutes. But during that six minutes, I mean, if you hear somebody coughing in an aisle over there, it's coming your for, way. For being such a hypochondriac, honey, your lifestyle choice is staying home, I mean, on a regular basis, not even required to stay home. Mm-hmm. It's probably hurting your immune system. Because if you're going out and you're around a bunch of coffers, you go to a movie theater and it's like, <laughs> I don't know if that actually translated on the radio that I was coughing from different parts of the, it, of the theater. It, it worked in my ears, but and maybe because I was. Yeah, and you were looking at me yeah, and I was maybe. pointing like different. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, random coughs you will hear never freak you out before because it's float. Obviously, it fills. You're inhaling whatever they're coughing. You're building an immune system and antibodies to that right then. So your immune system is getting stronger the more you go out and you experience the I feel planet. like I had a brother who farted in my face for mm, 16 years pretty much daily. You're probably invincible. I'm probably a superhero. <laughs> uh, Stephen Collins says it's getting harder to stay away from people. Hey, Stephen. Hey, how you doing, sir? Frank, Heidi, love we're you guys. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, yeah, I mean, you're, you're mentioning how, how long we're going to take it. Um, uh, my buddy actually passed away last week, and um, I, I'm getting over not being able to to see his family, be able to see his friends, see all of our buddies and stuff. So yeah, I don't think it's I don't think uh, we're gonna hold out for much longer before we just have to say fuck it. It's tr- I'm sorry. That's okay. Right. We, to, we understand. Before we have to, before we have to just kind of. Um, I already kind of broke the rule. Um, I needed to see his mom, um, so you know we masked up. Did everything you know as safe as we could but you know i i needed to hug her she needs to know that you know i mean i've, I've dealt with unfortunately um other friends that have passed away and uh some of the best things that help is uh being able to us be there for for the parents and things like that and uh yeah it's, it, was, it was pretty hard but i had to go see her did but, your um, friend die from covid no um not, I mean, they're they're gonna test him, um, but no, it was it was something in re, res, it was a respiratory something, um, hmm. but yeah, I know I know they're testing everybody, and and no matter what, they're cremating everybody now. It doesn't even, doesn't even matter what what what's happening, just the time period. Yeah, they're so they're cremating him. What they're you know, luckily he actually wanted that. How so, old was he? I guess that's that works. I guess, but. uh yeah, it's 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 getting, it's getting hard for things like that. And, How old you know, was your that's friend? All I wanted. Uh, thirty-nine. <laughs> same age I am. Whoa. So, it, it's it's just hard to not not be able to you know for us friends all get together and mourn and tell stories and uh, yeah it's I, you know are they I, I think Zoom I think funerals yet? Oh. Uh, that's he's yeah they're working on it. That's that's the that's this weekend is supposed to happen but i mean even then like you know the guy that's orchestrating it is in austin other guys are in georgia louisiana and it's like yeah can't fly home you know like you could have a year ago and stuff like that all for all of us to be together i'm sorry about your buddy steven thanks so much for calling though man way too young uh i got some texts coming in you can always text the show text fhf and your questions or comments to 68683 uh, 626, Frank uh, should go into a hospital waiting room without his mask. Go on, fool. I effing dare you. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Seriously. <laughs> There's so many people's faces I want to cough in right now. There's so many morons out there. <laughs> uh, Eric, hit the shut up button on Heidi every time she speaks, please. Okay. Uh, Nothing specific, just every time. <laughs> All right. They're not alone. Frank, is there a ball gag mask that could protect us from Heidi's stupidity? And what was I stupid about? I mean, a that's, lot of things. That's just... ironic that you don't know. Shut up! <laughs> because I'm asking questions about the mask. I'm just getting clarification. Right. And you know what? There are a lot of stupid people listening to the show who didn't know either. Well, so I'm, I'm saying. So you're doing everybody a favor by educating them. 
by asking the question. You're welcome. There's no such thing as a stupid question, Heidi. <laughs> Just stupid people. And you're full of them. Yeah. So thank you so much. I'm here to help. For, for, yeah, basically asking the question. Everybody was embarrassed to say out loud. That's right, and I'm not. She's hardly helpful. <laughs> <laughs> hardly helpful, Heidi. Uh. When you need her, she's there to almost lend a hand. She'll give you some information, but leave you saying, huh, in the end. She tries and tries with all her might to help you out, but mm, not quite. And that's because she's hard. She's hardly helpful. She's hardly helpful, Heidi. Oh, there you go. I love it. <laughs>